Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Drama unfolds, poisoned cupcakes, cursed premieres, and scandalous secrets. The debut of Body and Soul brings more than just soap drama, as tainted desserts spark chaos and Leo confronts a ghost from his past. Meanwhile, Days of Our Lives fans are left reeling with Belle's controversial rise to Demera royalty, Alex Kiriaki's uncovering a jaw-dropping secret, and a poisoned cupcake investigation that threatens Thanksgiving reunions. As the series pays a heartfelt tribute to John Black and hints at Doug's tragic demise, one question lingers, is the curse of body and soul real? Get ready for shocking revelations and delicious betrayals, this week's twists are unmissable. On the day of the soap opera's premiere, the cast of E Body and Soul enjoys delectable treats, and Leo receives a blast from his past. Today on Days of Our Lives, an anonymous admirer sends cupcakes to Salem residents who are gathered to witness the premiere of Body and Soul. EJ opens a package of two cupcakes with the initials BNS inscribed in icing that was delivered over to commemorate the debut of Body and Soul at the Demera estate. Johnny, who still feels bad about cheating on Chanel, receives one box from him. EJ advises him not to be too hard on himself for it. Chanel invited Joy over for supper yesterday night, and Johnny claims that the cosmos is assisting him in doing so. Since Chanel doesn't need to know about all of this, EJ advises Johnny to stop showing his guilt and to keep his lips quiet. Chanel enters and inquires, what does Chanel not need to know? EJ clarifies that he didn't want to cause her further anxiety, therefore he and Johnny were talking about his argument with her mother regarding a case. He promises to work with Paulina to mend the harm. In order to allow Johnny to continue making amends for his foolishness on set, EJ promises he will leave them alone. Johnny expresses his admiration for Chanel's cupcake decorating. Chanel was not involved in their dispatch. She invited Joy to join them in watching the premiere, but she hopes there were more than two cupcakes. Joy, who is rehearsing her lines for her first performance, meets Kate in the Brady pub Kate inquires as to whether she has yet to meet anyone in town, feeling that she has to take some time to enjoy herself. Chanel hosted her for dinner last night, and she claims it was just the cast. Roman celebrates their first online episode by bringing Kate a gift that includes another cupcake. Who sent it, she wonders. While Roman sits down and speaks with Joy, Kate leaves to make some calls regarding the cupcake. He hopes Johnny is treating her well on set and that she likes the accommodation. Joy claims that Johnny is the greatest. Chanel then sends Joy a text message inviting her to attend the premiere. Abe also gets a cupcake at Paulina and Abe's, and since the card isn't signed, they both question who sent it. Kate calls Abe, and they talk about the enigmatic cupcakes. She accepts Abe's invitation to come to the show with Roman. Soon after, Kate and Roman arrive with champagne to see the soap opera's launch. Abe accepts Paulina's cupcake and happily devours it. It's amazing, he says. Paulina claims that because he worked so hard on the soap, he deserves the cupcake, but he feels bad about being the only one eating it. They toast to the show as they sit down to watch it. They all agree that the soap was a huge success after finishing it. Paulina is ecstatic about her Chanel and eager to see what comes next. Once more, they raise a toast to the show. At the De Mera mansion, Johnny begs Chanel to uninvite Joy because he wants to watch the program in bed with her and regrets she hadn't invited her. Joy has nothing to do today, so she feels horrible. Joy was at their front door when EJ arrived. Chanel demands that Johnny take a seat between her and Joy as they settle on the couch. EJ wonders whether anyone will eat the cupcakes and replies that he will watch the show when he comes home. EJ takes one before leaving after Chanel passes. Johnny chooses to consume the other one. Joy tells Chanel she was fantastic as they wrap up the program. Chanel says she owes her spouse everything and praises him. 
With the exception of the actor portraying Charlemagne, Joy has met every character from the episode. They tell her about the events with Hattie, who cursed the program after being sacked. Joy believes she should leave since she needs to call her mother and has lines to learn. When Joy leaves, Chanel notices that she's acting strangely and fears that she might leave suddenly. She requests that Johnny follow her and see how she's doing. Joy is pursued by Johnny, who tells her that she foolishly accepted Chanel's invitation. They can't continue doing this, he says, since his guilt is getting to him. He is reminded by Joy that he promised not to speak to Chanel. Johnny claims that he is dying because of the commitment he made to Chanel, and he is unsure of how he can put things right. Upon his return to the living room, Johnny informs Chanel that Joy is doing well and that she is simply very keen to remember her lines. She checks her lines on her tablet and thanks him for checking on her. She talks on how they would have been able to move over it if Arrow had been honest with Faith about what had happened from the start, but the cover-up is far worse than the crime. Bonnie, carrying boxes of cupcakes, opens his door to a shirtless Alex. Bonnie planned to visit and watch the show's premiere with her. Bonnie claims that the card simply reads, From your BNS family. Alex questions who sent the cupcakes, but Bonnie believes it must have been Leo because he has a sweet taste. She also thinks he's lonely, which explains why the screenplay makes so many references to sweets. She believes that Leo is currently drowning his soul with candy. Bonnie suspects they might be from Kate and Abe, but Alex believes Leo would want them to know he sent them. Alex continues to think the anonymous thing is strange. Bonnie stops Alex from biting into a cupcake because she gets a horrible feeling. I hate to be Debbie Downer, but what if it's poisoned, she asks. Who would do that, wonders Alex. Hattie Adams, who cursed the show, might be the culprit, according to Bonnie. Bonnie discards the cupcakes because she doesn't want to take a chance. Bonnie recommends that they bring Stephanie over while Alex puts on a shirt. They need their space, according to Alex, who is presumably working hard at the moment. After the performance, they complement each other's acting abilities. Bonnie makes the decision that she must start learning her lines for the upcoming week. Alex expresses gratitude for her visit. Later, believing Bonnie is being overly suspicious, Alex retrieves the cupcakes from the garbage and eats one. Leo is startled to discover Javi next to him when he wakes up in bed. Leo attempts to translate the Spanish that Javi is speaking to him. Javi claimed to have a devil's mind, a god's body, and an angel's smile. That is the sweetest thing someone has ever said to Leo, he claims. According to Javi, yesterday night was both amazing and chaotic. Leo invites him to stay for breakfast and his act after they share a kiss. Javi chooses to stay and disregard Gobby's texts. His cousin barely pays him minimum wage, so he complains about how cheap she is and claims he'll need to find a new job soon. Leo gets a cupcake when he orders them breakfast. When Javi inquires about the show, he provides him with a brief overview of its background. He claims that his reliable laptop contains three months' worth of scripts. In order to prevent information from getting into the wrong hands, Leo claims that even if Javi's followers would likely kill to see them, they could become disinterested if they knew what was going to happen. They quickly determine that neither of them is hungry and return to their beds. Later, as Leo gets into his nice pajamas to watch the show, he discovers Javi in bed using his laptop. Leo notes that they have a large screen television, but Javi prefers to watch it in bed. Abe is the narrator that introduces the show as they start streaming it. When they're done, Javi tells Leo the show was fantastic and gets dressed. Javi says he had a great time, but he has to go to work. Leo claims that he did as well, and they want to repeat this shortly. Leo acknowledges that it's been a while since he felt this way. It was incredibly helpful to open up to Javi about losing his mother because he has never felt this way. 
Javi bids Leo bye with a kiss and leaves. Paulina shows up in Horton Square and smacks the back of EJ's head just as he is ready to bite into the cupcake. She doesn't have to remove it off the unfortunate cupcake, even though he knows she's upset over Kat. Because his son called her daughter a cheating slut, Paulina claims she has a grudge against him. Although EJ is aware that Johnny is devastated by what transpired, he advises that they avoid this circumstance. Roman chooses to eat Kate's cupcake after returning to the Brady pub Abe and Kate meet at the body and soul office in the meanwhile. The network, which Abe just spoke with, is quite happy with the results. So much for Hattie's curse, Kate believes they have been hit. Abe suddenly gets severely sick and snatches a trash can. Bonnie returns to Leo's room to find out his thoughts on the show. Leo claims that he was going to check out what people were saying online since he felt it was amazing. When he learns that someone is posing as Lady Whistleblower online and has inside knowledge of what's going on with body and soul, he is astonished. The cast of body and soul then becomes ill, and Alex and Joy spend time together on Days of Our Lives. By failing to let go of a fan favorite, Days of Our Lives is making a grave error. Letting go of someone or something we love can be difficult. That's not limited to our private life. Character deaths or the cancellation of favorite shows can affect us more deeply than we may realize. Even though loss hurts no matter what, we can finally let go and move on. For the most part. Because sometimes we're just tortured by our loss in what seems like an endless parade of teasing, much like Days of Our Lives has been doing with Abigail. This is not even the second time we have discussed this topic. Days of Our Lives hasn't let Abby go, from ghost visits to Chad's inability to let go of Abigail with Stephanie to Kat's fake out. The second stage of it involves Clyde dangling her remains to persuade Chad to comply with his wishes. The mere fact that it exists makes Abigail's ghost continue to haunt us, but there has been no sign that she would return in any way. Granted, given how long they've been dragging this out, a genuine comeback would be fantastically surprising. Because fans are currently losing interest in the entire issue. As JimGuy68 noted on the Soaps.com message boards, Abigail has received far too much attention lately, and there is no sign that the character will return. The empty coffin is merely another teaser that will be overdone to the point where fans will lose interest. It has lasted long enough. Either bring her back or put a stop to this plot and let everyone go. Tiff5555 concurred, stating, Leave this character alone if she is not returning. Fans of a Chabby are really depressed about it. We would therefore want to see this scenario unfold as follows, Chad and Kat defeat Clyde and retrieve Abigail's remains. Perhaps the antagonist is slain in the process not by deliberate murder, but rather when a battle goes awry and he is killed in self-defense. Once more, Chad lays Abigail to rest, and this time, her killer is also no longer there. It resembles the story's climax. At the same time, Doug passes away, and Chad must be there to support Julie throughout her grief. It aids in his grieving process and helps him let go of Abigail. He reassures Julie, who is upset, that life will continue and that Doug would want them to continue loving and living. The conclusion. Not the end, exactly, but the end of constantly making fun of Chabby supporters. Additionally, if Chad and Kat do move on, as it appears to be faded, they should stop bringing up her time as Abigail and simply move on. While a little teasing is okay, too much or the incorrect method to do it can ruin even the long-awaited comeback for fans. When the story turned out to be little more than a great tease, the delight of the audience gave way to frustration during Bo and Hope's reunion. Bo was placed in a coma after the two only really connected for a brief moment. Fortunately, it appears that this will be resolved, and fans of Ubope will finally have the happy ending they've always desired. And who knows, perhaps Chabby will have the same joyful reunion in 15 years. 
as evidenced by the strength of Steve and Kayla following his death a decade and a half ago, the show has a proven track record of making those work. But before viewers grow tired of what was once one of the most popular modern couples on Days of Our Lives, oh, please, just give a chabby some time to relax. Recap of Days of Our Lives Monday, November 18th, Tainted Dessert Deliveries, Lady Whistleblower Impersonator According to the Monday, November 18th spoilers for Days of Our Lives, several members of the Body and Soul cast, crew, and production team received some special cupcakes through Messenger. Since the card only stated that the sweets were from the Body and Soul family, there were many queries about their origin and sender because they weren't in a sweet bits box. But since Body and Soul's first streaming episode was scheduled to debut, the delivery happened on a significant day for the show. Because of this, nobody was very concerned about these cupcakes, with the exception of Bonnie Kiriakis, who hadn't forgotten about the poisoned cookie incident from the previous year. Fearing that his cupcake might be tainted, Bonnie threw it out when she came over to watch the episode with Alex Kiriakis. Bonnie pretended that it was prudent to exercise caution because Hattie Adams had pledged to exact revenge. After Bonnie went, Alex took the boxed cupcake out of the garbage to eat because he didn't share her worries. On Monday's days, Johnny DeMera talked to E.J. DeMera about his issues at the DeMera mansion since he was having trouble with remorse. Joy Wesley also stopped by for supper last night. Since Chanel didn't need to know what had transpired, EJ essentially forced Johnny to suppress his remorse. When Chanel showed in, she wanted to know what Johnny and EJ were hiding, so EJ pretended to be discussing a case he had been arguing with Paulina Price over. EJ was about to devour a cupcake that he had brought to the town square when Paulina came and gave him a slap. EJ decided they should keep their distance from Johnny's handling of Chanel so they dropped the cupcake and listened to Paulina vent. Joy eventually accepted the invitation from Chanel to watch the inaugural Body and Soul streaming program. Chanel and Johnny both experienced some embarrassment as a result, and Johnny ended up eating a cupcake. Chanel dispatched Johnny to check on Joy because she was acting strangely and seemed ready to depart as soon as the episode ended. Johnny had the opportunity to snap at Joy for accepting Chanel's offer and escalating their problems. Johnny appeared more worried about the marriage vows he had broken than Joy, who reminded him that he had vowed not to discuss their night together. During an episode of Monday's Days, Chanel discussed a script with Johnny and implied that Arrow's cover-up was worse than his offense. Chanel pretended that she wouldn't hold Faith responsible for her inability to move past it. When Leo Stark woke up in bed with Javi Hernandez in his hotel suite, they discussed how much fun they had the previous evening. Because he wanted to stay and watch Body and Soul with Leo, Javi also decided he might be late for work. Leo boasted during breakfast that he had three months' worth of Body and Soul scripts on his laptop, emphasizing the need to keep the specifics confidential. Upon exiting the restroom, Leo discovered Javi in bed using his laptop. Javi clarified that he was pulling up the show there rather than on TV because he wanted a more personal viewing experience. Javi commended Leo's talent after the concert and they decided to do it again soon. As they kissed good, bye, Leo and Javi appeared to be deeply in love. Since the network was happy with Body and Soul's success thus far, Abe Carver updated Kate at the office on Monday's Day's episode with some positive news. After eating a cupcake earlier, Abe became ill and sought for a dumpster to puke up in, which Kate believed signified that Hattie's curse was over. On Monday's Days of Our Lives show, Bonnie returned to Leo's room to discuss their first streaming episode with him. Leo was shocked to see a lady whistleblower imposter post when he went online to read what the admirers had to say. The inside word about what will happen on Body and Soul came from someone claiming to be Leo's former gossip queen. We'll share our predictions for the fallout from these leaks because spoilers for days of our lives indicate that this lady whistleblower imposter will cause a lot of chaos. 
spoilers for days of our lives, is Belle the new queen of Demera Mansion the right fit for EJ? According to spoilers for days of our lives, Belle Black will soon make her way back to Salem with some significant news regarding her romantic life. Belle hoped to keep her marriage to Sean Brady together, but it's obvious that didn't work out. In the teaser for Day's 60th season, Belle confides in Marlena Evans about the breakup. Given that she will be prepared to discover her identity without Sean as her romantic partner, it appears that Belle will come to terms with the entire circumstance. Belle will be excited to start a new chapter in her life because she and Sean have been together intermittently for so long. Given their lengthy history and the fact that they have a kid together, Belle will still love Sean despite this. Belle, however, will be prepared to shut that door and open a new one. As it happens, Belle might end up becoming the new queen of the D. Mara mansion through that entrance. Since Nicole Walker broke up with him, E.J. D. Mara has been unattached, but he's had plenty of time to heal. E.J. must eventually move on, and it appears that he will do so with Belle. Naturally, Belle and E.J. had a brief affair in the past, but it was never a serious one. Now that the situation has changed, is there any chance that this time around? It's hardly unexpected that Belle flings a drink in EJ's face in that season 60 trailer we highlighted because he's not the easiest person to get along with. They will undoubtedly intensify their relationship, though, as Belle is also seen contentedly sharing a bed with EJ. Belle and EJ might move in together and start a long-term relationship if everything works out. All that matters is how much work EJ and Belle are prepared to put in. Will EJ's evil actions unavoidably end this romance, or is Belle truly the best fit for him? Is EJ in need of a more evil companion? In the case, according to Day's teasers, Belle and Sean might never be completely apart. Sean and Belle may eventually get back together because they are one of those days of our lives couples that usually end up together. This is particularly significant given that Belle will eventually learn about John Black's passing. According to Days of Our Lives forecasts, Belle might be persuaded to return to Sean in search of some comforting familiarity. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Belle and EJ might not be destined to be together, but they should still be fun to watch. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Tuesday and November 19th, Leo accuses Javi, Gabby interferes, and the investigation into the poisoned cupcake. The enigmatic cupcakes that have been circulating aren't as harmless as they first appear, as Bonnie Kiriaki suspected, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Tuesday, November 19. Anyone who consumed one of the cupcakes should get very sick because it appears like they were poisoned in some way. Day's spoilers indicate that many more members of the Body and Soul Ensemble will soon be impacted by the cupcakes, even if Abe Carver has already become unwell. Johnny D. Mara will feel awful because of his abrupt symptoms after eating one, and it will get worse when Chanel Dupree D. Mara begins to show him affection. When Johnny is in need, Chanel will want to help him, but he won't believe he deserves it because he cheated on her. Considering that Alex Kiriakis also gobbled up a cupcake, it is likely that he will become ill as well. Day's teasers indicate that Alex will eventually feel good enough to run some lines with Joy Wesley, but the show must continue. If Joy acts strange with Johnny and Chanel, Alex might become a little skeptical in Tuesday's Days of Our Lives episode. Later this week, Joy will confess to cheating to Alex, but in the interim, he might just ask her for information. Jada Hunter will receive updates on the case and anticipate hearing from the police shortly as they eventually become involved and look into these dubious cupcake deliveries. Gabby Hernandez de Mera will discover that Javi Hernandez's tardiness to work was caused by Leo Stark. According to teasers for days, Gabby will attempt to sabotage Javi's new romance and drive him as far away from Leo as she can. Javi will, however, defend their developing friendship and possibly even predict that Leo will become a permanent fixture in his life. Since her cousin has already fallen deeply in love, Gabby will just have to handle things from Javi's point of view. 
Regretfully, Leo is going to draw the incorrect conclusion regarding Lady Whistleblower's most recent resurgence. Leo will believe that Javi betrayed him by disclosing impending plot developments because he informed Javi that he had three months' worth of writings on his laptop. Leo might believe that this treachery occurred because Javi was on his laptop earlier to launch the first body and soul streaming show. Leo will soon start making accusations against Javi, who won't be aware of what's happening. Even if it's clear that Javi isn't at fault, Leo might say some harsh things unless the opposite is demonstrated. According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, this will be Leo and Javi's first significant setback, so don't miss any of the drama. Spoilers for Week 2 of Days of Our Lives, Alex Kariakis discovers a horrible secret. According to spoilers for the second week of Days of Our Lives, Alex Kariakis learns a seductive, devilish Salem secret. Joy Wesley, his new co-star, tells him about her recent relationship with Johnny D. Mara, the show's director, as they are rehearsing lines. When Johnny believed his wife Chanel Dupree was having an affair with the attractive Alex, the two had a shady liaison. In another scene, J.J. Devereaux informs Chad DeMera, his brother-in-law, that he is prepared to embark on his mission with Cat Green. They demand answers from fugitive criminal Clyde Weston regarding Abigail Devereaux and Cat's mother. Eli Grant and Lonnie Price eventually make a comeback to help Julie Williams deal with the tragic death of their cherished patriarch, Doug Williams. During the 60th season of the NBC Peacock exclusive, which airs from November 18 to November 29, 2024, they will be joined by additional family members as word of his passing spreads. An unsavory little secret is heard by Alex Kiriakis. According to spoilers for the second week of Days of Our Lives, Alex Kiriakis learns of his co-star's hot secret. Joy Wesley and Johnny D. Mara are shown in recent episodes engaging in an extramarital romance. The director of the program stayed overnight with Alex's new co-worker. But Johnny believed that Chanel Dupree and Alex were being nefarious on the soap opera set. It was a major misunderstanding on days of our lives, of course. Additionally, on that hospital bed, Alex Kiriakis was making love to Stephanie Johnson. Joy and Johnny met at small bar after Johnny went out drinking. Together, they returned to her hotel room. Additionally, Joy and Johnny can be seen making out in recent flashbacks. Neither of them believes Chanel ought to be made aware of his enormous error. Joy Wesley and Alex Kiriakis will work together more throughout the next two weeks on Days of Our Lives. Joy and Alex practice their lines. The attractive newbie, however, brags to Alex about how well she knows their director. Additionally, spoilers suggest that Alex might reveal it to Johnny or Chanel. Watch closely as the drama develops. J.J. Devereaux joins the mission of Cat Green and Chad DeMera. According to two-week spoilers for Days of Our Lives, J.J. Devereaux, his brother-in-law Chad DeMera, and Cat Green are going on a perilous journey. Initially, JJ was opposed to the imposter who deceived Chad into thinking she was the deceased Abigail Devereaux. The fact that this woman is even out of jail infuriates him. Chad also expresses to JJ his displeasure with the experience he had with Cat. However, he must find Abby's remains. He could do that with Cat's help. Ultimately, she and her brother were coerced into complying with Clyde Weston's wishes. On Days of Our Lives, she believed she had no other option. Her mother is also held captive somewhere by the criminal mastermind. According to spoilers for the second week, J.J. decides against assisting Chad. He may actually help Chad and Kat find Clyde by applying his previous investigative abilities. Will the three, however, track down the fugitive? He is sly. Cat Green, Chad DeMera, and J.J. Devereaux will soon go on their assignment. Lonnie Price and Eli Grant head back to Salem.
According to previews for the second week of Days of Our Lives, Eli Grant and his stunning wife, Lonnie Price, will be returning to Salem this holiday season with their infant twins, Jules and Carver. Nevertheless, their journey is depressing. After all, Doug Williams, Eli's grandfather, dies. They come to assist Grandma Julie Williams in overcoming this terrible loss. Since discovering he was the child of her late son, Eli and Julie have developed a lovely bond. Eli and Lonnie arrive to lament Doug's passing. Additionally, a number of original Days of Our Lives characters, such as Marie Horton and Hope Williams Brady, join them later. As the family comes together to help Julie and one another deal with the tragic loss of Doug Williams, keep an eye out for Eli Grant and Lonnie Price on Days of Our Lives during the coming weeks. But first, Clyde Weston is sought after by J.J. Devereaux, Chad D. Mara, and Kat Green. Will they receive the necessary answers? Lastly, during November 18-29, 2024, Alex Kiriakis is given a hard time about the Peacock Sudser. Is he going to betray Johnny? November 19th Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Body and Soul is Cursed. You'll be shocked by what transpires next. Bad luck will follow the Body and Soul cast and crew whether or not the program is airing, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Tuesday, November 19th. Headache The cast of Body and Soul is killed by an unexplained illness as soon as Kate and Abe's new series premieres its first episode. At least this isn't the movie Airplane, when the flight attendant has to land the aircraft due to food poisoning. It's only a television program. Nobody's life is in danger. Or is Lady Whistleblower investigating? Why can't Leo write about the show's behind-the-scenes antics as well as the show itself? We assume the answer to that is, nope, since Leo believes he can do everything he wants. I am able to fix him. Javi was cautioned by Gabby that Leo was a bad person, a criminal, and a user. However, Javi finds Leo adorable. What does his cousin think, then? Or is aware? Or has prior experience with? Javi finds writers attractive. Leo writes. Javi desires his company. Gabby, stop talking. I've grown up and am capable of making my own choices. Dance and switch partners. Alex is free-spirited and fancy-free now that he and Stephanie have made the decision to stay apart. This implies that Alex has the right to run lines with Joy in order to see if real life can become authentic. Joy is also completely unmarried. She is also free to do as she pleases. She only had a one-time hookup with Johnny, after all. He and his spouse have returned. Despite the fact that Johnny spends the majority of his time feeling bad and unworthy of Chanel. Chanel never thought Johnny was good enough. What else is novel? John Hodgston and Drake Hodgston, a tribute to perfect days of our lives. An episode of the anniversary that made me cry. On Friday, November 8, Days of Our Lives commemorated its 59th anniversary. Additionally, it was the anniversary of Marlena and John's marriage, which was a melancholy occasion for viewers who were aware that Drake Hodgston, who played John, had died on September 28, 2024. Hodgston was already too sick to appear in the episode, even though it was taped prior to his passing. Ultimately, John called to wish his stock a happy anniversary. However, that day's homage to John wasn't the only one. Earlier in the program, there was another heart-stopping one. Out of view. Despite Hodgston's illness, John was declared well and embarking on a new journey. In order to come to terms with his part in Constantine's daughter Katerina's death, he first left town. It turns out that Katerina hadn't actually died while he was away. Although she was actually living in Salem and raising four children, Mark, Cat, Aaron, and Felicity, her father believed she had. Therefore, we would like to learn more about that later. 
John might have gone home now that his conscience was clear. However, Andrew interrupted to inform them that Marlena's spouse had been summoned to an extremely secret meeting with the ISA. Every one of my sons. Meanwhile, in the park, John's namesake or step-grandson Johnny, his sons Brady and Paul, and his grandson Tate were playing with some balls and remembering what a wonderful father or grandfather John had been. Not all of the actors listed above are bad actors, mind you. Marstolf is even an Emmy winner. However, we can't help but think that a large portion of the sincere passion in their statements wasn't merely pretentious rhetoric about John, but really sincere affection for Drake. Soaps are able to draw on our real memories, unlike primetime dramas that can only discuss relationships that occurred 20 or 30 years ago. We saw John raise Brady, meet and learn to love Paul, and be incredibly proud when Johnny and Tate were born. The show celebrated 38 years of Drake Hodgston in addition to 59 years of Salem. A two-week analysis of Days of Our Lives, Doug's Death and Thanksgiving Reunions. A Thanksgiving that is both joyous and sorrowful. Spoilers for the two weeks of November 18th to 29th on Days of Our Lives hint at both a tragic loss and endearing comebacks. Onset Drama Starting with Johnny cheating on Chanel, there has been more drama off set than on set as Salem prepares for the body and soul premiere. Although his wife is still unaware of his dark secret, who will find out now that he has told his father? Leo manifested his new romance with Javi, while Alex and Stephanie, on the opposite side of the set, are figuring out how to work together despite their intense affections for one another. The hospital has been used for important decision-making when it isn't being used as a Pineview set. Sarah chose to take the chance with the serum and have surgery that might help her walk again. There will soon be a lot of returns in Salem in time for Thanksgiving, but when everyone finds out about Doug's passing, things will swiftly become tragic. The Breakdown for Next Week Episode 14990, Monday, November 18, 2024 The premiere of Body and Soul draws a crowd from Salem. Leo and Javi had a passionate moment together. Episode 14991, Tuesday, November 19, 2024 A severe illness strikes the cast and crew of Body and Soul. Episode 14992, Wednesday, November 20, 2024. Cat offers Chad a bold strategy for dealing with Clyde. Episode 14993, Thursday, November 21, 2024. Sarah makes an effort to walk. Episode 14994, Friday, November 22, 2024. Joy tells Alex about her past relationship with Johnny. November 25th to 29th, 2024, week. Episode 14995, Monday, November 25th, 2024. Leo talks to Marlena about his love life and job. Episode 14996, Tuesday, November 26th, 2024. Thanksgiving is spent with the Kiriakis fam. Episode 14997, Wednesday, November 27, 2024. The predicament that Johnny and Joy are in is uneasy. Episode 14998, Thursday, November 28, 2024. For Thanksgiving, Jack and Jennifer head back to Salem. Abe and Paulina join Eli and Lonnie in celebrating. Episode 14999, Friday, November 29, 2024. Salem finds out of Doug's death. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.